Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with me and um, listening to what I have to say about living in Israel. So someone uh, came up with a great idea for me to talk about uh, my first year of moving here to Israel. So I think I'll talk about when I came on my first trip here because uh, I only came one time and then I moved here uh, a few months later after that. So when I came on my trip um, to visit the country, I was, <laughs> we came like this time, we came in February actually. Uh, I think it was February 14th. And uh, so we came and we landed in Tel Aviv and then we went to uh, spot uh, as our first uh, place to stop in and before I came I did like lots of research on different places that I might want to move to uh, to live uh, and raise a family and so we came and it was rainy and cold and we went to spot and when we were in spot we stayed in a hostel uh, but they had uh, a part of the hostel for couples. So we got the, one of the, the best ones, and uh, which was on the top floor of the hostel. So we had this huge uh, um, porch um, to ourselves because we realized no one really travels on trips to Israel in February per se. So we had the whole top to ourselves and a beautiful view, uh, but it was cold. And I think I mentioned before, in Israel, the walls are made of concrete. So the apartment is always colder, or wherever you're staying, is colder inside than it is outside. And we had a heater. Um, we did not have central heating and air, which is very rare in Israel. So we did not have that. And it was so cold. I was freezing. And the bathroom was just a basic uh, bathroom with the toilet and the shower. And there was no heater in there. So I was cold. I was freezing. I took a shower. I came out. Like we, we kept saying to them, leave us the heater. Leave us the heater. We, we're going to keep it on. Um, I needed more blankets. Uh, I wasn't warm. Uh, we were living in Florida at the time. So when we came on our trip, we did have a coat, but... Uh, I don't know, I was really cold. And I'm used to central heating and air. I just, you know, we just are. So we're traveling around spot. I came, I brought heels. I did not bring any uh, gym shoes, sneakers. And uh, in spot, it's lots of cobblestones, like very, um, uh, in the old city, uh, um, old city of spot, and it's called the artist quarter. And in the artist quarter is a very, uh, um, I can't think of the word. Very uh, like cobblestones, old building, uh, uh, very Middle Eastern look, you know. Uh, very nice, beautiful, feeling very uh, spiritual and holy there. Uh, but I have to admit that I did not like Spot so much. Um, I didn't like it. It's just not me. Uh, but it was, it was nice. Um, we went around to a lot of places and I made the mistake of listening to someone and walking up 150 stairs, 150 stairs, 150, 150. I thought I was going to die. It was so many stairs. <laughs> and when you're in the States, you ride in a car. You know, you don't walk everywhere. So here, you walk everywhere. People don't ride the buses. Even though there's buses, of course. But why ride the bus? You could just walk, you know. Um, and uh, it was an interesting experience in spot. Then we made our trip. Then we made our way to uh, Jerusalem. And we stayed by my friend who was also here. Um, and they were visiting, but they were here for a longer time. They were here for like a year. They visited for a year. Um, and she's on a micro, she was, she was on a macrobiotic diet and I was not, or will I ever be on that kind of diet? And I starved, I starved by her. I like left the house and I walked down the street to, uh, this, um, uh, bakery, uh, it's called Nehemiah. And so I go there 
and <laughs> I hit the, the stand. So, oh my God, I like ate so many pastries. I just like, <laughs> cause I was starving. I was starving, 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 starving. Cause all I ate in our house was like nuts and bean sprouts and, uh, uh, and she's always been healthy like that. Like she's from, she's from the States also. And, you know, and she makes really yummy food. Um, but I starved. I was so hungry, um, by her. And I, I did not, I, I was just, oh, so we were by her. We went to go visit other parts of Jerusalem because we were looking for a place of where we were going to live. What part? Uh, we had already knocked out spot. We said, we're not moving to spot. Like when we left from the visit, we knew X, not spot. Eh, no spot, you know. <laughs> and uh, so we were in Jerusalem. We like it. We're looking around. And uh, we went to remote uh, to my husband's cousin's. And we loved it. We truly, truly loved remote. And we were like, this is where we're going to go. But since we had other places marked down that we needed to look at, we figured we should go look at them too. So one was uh, on a Yeshuv, which was in um, in the Binyamin uh, region. And it was Kochab Yaakov. Love, love, love Kochab Yaakov. And then we went to look at Gilo, which is in Jerusalem. And we didn't really like Gilo so much because it was very like lots of buildings and uh, it was at the time where it was just like after the war. So they had like built up this this huge wall um, to separate uh, the Jewish neighborhood from the Arab neighborhood because the Arabs at the time were shooting. They would shoot uh over and it can go right into your house. Like they just would stop just start shooting or like... That's what they did instead of chewing gum or whatever. It was like, so we were like, we're not moving to Kilo. Um, so we decided we were going to move to remote. Um, because we really liked it. It was more like what we felt like was was how uh, we, how my husband and I uh, are. And his cousins lived like really close. So it that just seemed like the place to go. So we, we go back to the States and we decide, okay, that's my cat. <laughs> Again, uh, we're going to move uh, soon, and we were. I was planning like immediately. My husband, I don't think, was thinking so fast that we were going to move, um, and we had been married only uh, a year and a half, and that was like one of my criterias of when I was dating that the person wanted to move to Israel, and not and and I think that even though he said he wanted to move to Israel, I don't think he thought I meant like immediately, which I did. So anyway, so after a year and a half of being married, we went on a trip. Um, I came back and I did more research. Like I know that I needed to learn the language and my husband um, could speak Hebrew. I mean, you know, cause he had been here before and he's been here plenty of times in Israel. I was the only one that had never uh, been here. So I needed, I, we needed to come for myself so that I could uh, make a educated decision about moving here so uh we come back we stayed for like i think two weeks we went back and i had wrote down also all the places that i would see on the bus from the bus i would see signs up of other neighborhoods or yeshuvi uh and i would write them down just in case um we don't move to remote or whatever like we would have a backup plan um and I also took note of what people had in their homes so that I could think, what should we bring? What should we not bring? What should we sell? What should we give away? Like, I was already thinking like that. Like, when I came on my visit, I was looking and seeing. And one of the things that I noticed was, like, the apartments in uh, Israel are smaller. Or the, it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's smaller, but the room, the situation of the room is smaller and it's set up differently. Also... Uh, furniture wise like and also closets and things like this I needed to think about um, and when you when you come to another country you decide you're going to live there and you're going to bring all of your furniture uh, you have to decide is it is it metin is it suitable for that way of life and I noticed in America the furniture is bulky it's huge it's big it's, it's big 
And in this role, it is, and it's very European, the, the types of uh, furniture that uh, is used here. And if you've ever been to any of the European countries or any of the Asian countries, and you go into their homes, you see everything's pretty narrow, uh, low to the ground. Um, and also in Israel, the furniture is also, uh, which takes getting used to because... Uh, I can't. I used to not be able to sit very low to the ground or just sit on the floor and and just chat and have a, and just schmooze. I I could not do that. Um, now I can, um, but at the time I could not do that. Um, so I knew I was bringing my couch, which is a sofa sleeper. I wanted to bring everything that uh, I received from when I got married, and one of those was a bed because we needed a bed. I knew we would buy another one when we got here and my couch and all of our uh, clothes, um, my special dishes and uh, blankets. I brought those. Um, even though you can get all of it here, but when you decide to move to the country of your choice, it takes a while for those things to come. So it takes at least a month, unless you plan it properly, which it doesn't really work. Like you need to be there before your stuff come. So that takes a month. So we were here without any furniture or anything. And then we had people that helped us, like uh, people that we had connected with um, from when we came on our visit, which is called a pilot trip. Um, when you, before you make, uh, move to another country, you just go for a visit. In Israel, it's called a pilot trip. So on the pilot trip, we made like arrangements and I kept in mind who I was going to uh, get advice from and notice what they had in their home. So I knew what I needed to come with that was going to last us for a month until our furniture arrived. And also we brought lots of books. Like I think you, I, I, you see a lot of times in my videos, my bookcase, we had like double that amount. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to talk about when we actually got here. And I'll tell you about that. But uh, thanks for watching my channel. And make sure you hit like and subscribe. If you've watched this at the very end, I deserve a like. <laughs> and I would love a subscribe. Thank you.